Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to Love Lavender Wishes. It's Renee and I hope you're having a very blessed day. The sun is out. I'm so excited. You guys have no idea how excited I am that the sun finally came out. It's been out for a couple days now, but the very first day it came out, everyone was like, oh my gosh, the sun's out. Ah, it's like I'm a new person because I sat outside today in the sun and soaked up some sun like a little lizard that I am. And I feel so much better now, y'all. Just, just a little bit of sun. Look at that. Look what can sun can do. So today we are going to be Bible journaling. We are going to be in Isaiah. We're actually going to be in Isaiah hmm, 45 and 46. Um, I'm going to be using some printables that Charlene posted on, let's see, Soul Sisters Bible journaling um, Facebook group. It's um, called Truth or Measure Truth. I'm not sure which one. Measure truth, maybe, or God's truth. Truth. Um, it's got these scales with these little flowers and these, like, uh, look at this really gorgeous uh, collage type. And I cut out a bunch. Like, there were three pages. And so I just cut out a bunch of these ephemera pieces. So I did that ahead of time because, you know, you'd be bored watching me cut all these little, little teeny tiny pieces out. Um, so we're going to piece this together. Um, I'm going to be using a script stamp today. And the funny thing is, y'all, okay, so I had this rub-on transfer and I pulled the transfer. I've had this stuff forever. It's been sitting in my drawers forever. And this is what happened. I rubbed, I pulled it off because this was going to be the rub-on part. I was going to rub it on the page and it, guess what, y'all? It stuck to this back sheet. So instead of rubbing it off, what I'm going to do is I was thinking, oh, I'll just trash it. It's no good. But actually, you can use this as collage paper. So we're just going to collage with it instead of rubbing it off as transfer. We're just going to pull the paper and collage. No biggie. We will improvise. <laughs> so that's all. That's what all of it is about, is about improvising. So, you know, measuring God's truth. Um, it, she put out this little devotional out on her uh, Facebook page. And it was all about like, how do we measure truth? Do we measure it by God's word or do we measure it by what the world says or what our truth is? I mean, you've all heard this multiple times, you know, I'm speaking my truth or tell us your truth or whatever. And literally, I think it was a day, maybe a day, 24 hours before Charlene um, Warwick put the, uh, the devotional out. Um, I think it was Charlene who put it out. Maybe another lady wrote the devotional, but she put it out on her, her soul sisters page. And before she put it out, there was a meme on my, in one of my feeds that said, you know, there is no your truth or my truth. There is the truth. And then there's your opinion. Right. And I, I saw that. I was like, gosh, that's right there on the money. That is, that is what the problem is, I think, one of the problems is that we have a society right now is everyone thinks they have their truth. Well, you have your experience and you have your opinions, yes, but there is only one truth. There is only one truth, and it's God's truth. And so I am getting kind of sick of hearing, oh, tell me your truth, or let's hear, let's hear, you know, this is my truth, or whatever. I'm like, yeah, no, that's your opinion, or that's your experience, but there's only one plumb line, one truth, and that's God's word. So in Isaiah... 45. Um, let's see. In verse five, it says, I am the Lord and there is no other. There is no God but me. I will strengthen you, though you do not know me, so that all may know from the rising of the sun to its setting that there is no one but me. I am the Lord and there is no other. And it goes on to say, he formed everything. He made everything. So why would we go to anybody else for truth when he made it all, right? And then it goes on to say, God alone is the savior. And he is the only one who can save us. And it says again, God is indeed with you. And there is no other. There is no other God. And it, it goes on. I mean, you ha just read these verses, y'all. They are just so full of just wonderful goodness. And I love this. For this is what the Lord says, the creator of the heavens, the God who formed the earth and made it, the one who established it, right? He made this earth. So he knows the truth. He says, I am the Lord and there is no other. I have not spoken in secret somewhere in a land of darkness. I did not say the descendants of Jake, Jacob seek me in a wasteland. No, I am the Lord who speaks righteously, who declares what is right. It is his truth. He declares what is right. And then um, Isaiah 46 says, there's no one like God. And it goes on. It says, who can you compare me to? No one. We can't, we can't even begin to fathom that we even know a fraction of the truth that God knows, right? God knows everything. 
we just see this little minuscule fraction. Oh, look at my fingers, y'all. Um, so anyways, let's get, let's get crafted. Um, I know I'm speaking fast. There's so much to get into. So I'm going to use this script um, stamp and I'm actually just going to keep it on this. I'm going to use Versamark. We are going to do a little bit of embossing, I guess. And so I am going to just kind of I'm going to put in some random places on the page and we'll see what happens. Some of it might get covered up. We're going to put some more on a little bit later as well. Um, but, you know, let's, let's see what we can do here. Let's put some right there. I don't even know what I'm getting on here, but we'll see. some there and maybe some down there I don't know we'll see we'll see where it randomly goes so I grabbed this one the zing embossing powder and this is copper I love this copper look I'm gonna move that so let's hopefully not make too much of a mess and I forgot where I even put all these I forgot so we are gonna have to again improvise and hopefully get it where it needs to be and not make a super duper mess. Oh, well, there we go. There's some of it right there. Let's see. It's kind of cool. It's like, it's like, look at that, like magic, <laughs> you know? Okay. I'm going to have to tilt this. Oh boy. Oh boy. Here we go. Let's try to put this paper under here. <laughs> it's so hard working in this big Bible. And not make a mess and I'm just gonna kind of shake off the excess oh y'all I am making a mess but hey that's what crafting is okay let me go like that put that there Woo. I'm gonna go like this Sorry, y'all. I am concentrating here. I'm trying not to make the biggest mess imaginable. And then I'm going to take this and just shake this into my garbage on the side here just because it make it easier. Let's clean this part off a little bit. Every time I'm crafting, I have glitter and sparkles and, you know, stuff everywhere. Okay. Let's grab the Bible again. Put this over here. We're just going to get some good copper look. Okay, so you take your heating tool. And we are going to... Get up. I think I missed a couple spots, but we can, we're going to add some more as we go, I think. Let's get this embossed on here. And for me, this script is signifying the word of the Lord. I'm going to make sure I'm not burning this, but also making sure it's getting melted the way it needs to be. 